Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance books that are coming out in October. So let's get started. These are not obviously all the romance books that are coming out in October. These are the ones that I primarily am interested in. And if there are ones coming out in October that you are really interested in, please put them in the comments. I'm always wanting to add books to my new releases list. So let's go in order. On the 1st of October, I have Make the Season Bright by Ashley Herring Blake. It says that two exes find themselves stuck in the same house for Christmas. So it's a sapphic holiday romance with two exes, forced proximity, second chance, already in love. Also on the 1st, I have On Principle by Bonnie Callahan. The tagline for this one says, an exhausted teacher and a fake priest walk into a bar. So it looks like our heroine is a teacher at a private school and she goes to Vegas and I think has like a fun wild night with this man named Tommy. And then it turns out Tommy happens to be her school's new head of school, which technically makes him Emmy's new boss. That one's gonna be interesting. On the third, there's For Better or Hearse by Ava Hunter. Look at this cover. Screams Black Cat Heroine, Golden Retriever Hero. I don't need anything else. It looks so sticking good. Love You Latka is next by Amanda Elliott. This one comes out on the 8th of October. And I've just been loving these holiday romances about the Jewish culture. Like, I love them. Like, I loved, um, what is it called? Kissing Kosher, freaking loved that book. So I think I really love these. I just need to read them, I need to read them. This one takes place during Hanukkah. That's all I know. <laughs> On October 8th as well, I have Sword Crossed by Freya Marsk. This looks like, like an enemies to lovers, MM romance. Look at that cover. Look at that stinking cover. Darn It All by Edie Mitchell comes out on October 12th. Um, this is the next book in the All Access series. I believe our heroine is a fashion designer um, and I think she's also blind, if I'm not mistaken. Um, each book in the series is about a character with a disability. All I remember, this one I've been waiting for for a while. So I'm excited. From Here to Eternity by A.L. Jackson it comes out on the 15th. I heard someone talk about this book and I don't remember who it was, but they were talking about how much they were excited for it. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me add it to this list. But I love A.L. Jackson. I love her books. I just love her as a woman. I love her as a person. But I think this one is about a tattoo artist hero, which I love tattoo artists. On October 15th, I have a very highly anticipated book. This is Bull Moon Rising by Ruby Dixon. This is her first book in her new series, The Royal Artifactual Guild. And, oh, sorry for the squeaking. She found a squeaker toy. <laughs> um, but this is the first book in her new series and it's gonna be about a Minotaur hero. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I love Ruby, obviously. And I can't wait to read this one. This is Axis and O's by Kayla Gross. This comes out on the 17th. This is an MMF snowed in lumberjack holiday romance. <laughs> yeah, she knows how to write good MMFs. They're so hot. They're so fun. So this is a little novella that I need in my life. Next is Holding the Reins by Paisley Hope, which comes out on October 22nd. This I think is being um, traditionally published. I think it was already out. I hadn't read it yet though. It's a cowboy romance. This cover is so cute. The Demon's Queen by Katie Robert comes out also on October 22nd. I haven't had a lot of Katie Robert books on this list, honestly, like on any of my lists, honestly, because some of her newer, like most of her newer books haven't really been appealing to me. This cover though, such me. I'm here for it. Obviously, also on the 22nd, I have The Striker by Anna Huang, which is her soccer romance that everyone has been highly anticipating. Uh, I've only read two books in her Twisted series, and then I haven't read her other books, and so I, I know I would need to read the other ones, like her, um, like, The Seven Deadly Sin books, but this one looks so good, and like, I love soccer, so... I might just skip to that one. <laughs> I also have a sapphic one. This is The Snowball Effect by Haley Cass. It comes out on the 25th. It looks like this is a roommate romance, a sapphic roommate romance that takes place during the holidays. Yes, say less, again, say less. And lastly, I have Guarded by the Phantom by Layla Fay. It comes out on October 30th, a Halloween-y read for sure. This is the next book in her Monster Security Agency series, a whole series about monster bodyguards and then falling in love with the women they're supposed to be protecting. And he's like a skeleton phantom creature. Anyway, that was a very short video. <laughs> Let me know down below if you are excited for any of these books as well. What books would you add to this list? I would love to know. But if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me um, the skull emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.